I'm Brian DeLuca and this is Maker Build It. Today I'm showing you how to paint in Bamboo Lab Studio for multicolor 3D printing. But before we do that, make sure you like and follow. <laughs> The print feature in Bamboo Lab Studios allows users to apply color directly to their 3D models. This goes beyond assigning different colors to the actual model and lets you actually paint in detail. One of the things you want to do is plan your colors. Think about your color scheme beforehand and what colors you're going to use on your actual model to plan it out so that way when it prints it looks perfect. Use layering to color your model. Start with your base color, that's the primary color of what your model is going to be and add colors on top of that. So open your model in Bamboo Labs and as you can see we have a model here. It does have colored eyes already but what we're going to do is we're going to start uh, painting this model. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to add in your colors. So we're going to use um, four colors because we have a four color AMS. That's going to be our color palette. Now as you can see you always want to start with the base color of your print. The first thing you do when you want to paint your model is select your model. Then you're going to hit this paint bucket which is the color painting tool. Now, when you're here, you'll see your build plate does disappear, and you'll see all your colors up here. Now, there are multiple tool types in the paint tool. The first one is your flat, um, sort of two-dimensional painting. I mean, it's, you know, it's just basically painting lines, right? So let's just take the purple, and let's say we're going to paint the hair. Let's just change our brush size right here, is how you change your brush size. So when you use your paint tool, you it only paints on one surface. So for instance, if we were painting this wing white, it would only paint this side of the wing, right? And we see here, the other side is still green, right? Except for we went a little bit over it. But if we took the spear, this is the other tool. This is the tool I use the most. Let's just make this slightly bigger. It paints in a spear, so everything the spear touches gets turned to purple. So let's just go through and move some of this over here. So as we can see, the spear was so big, it painted the back side of the 3D model purple also. Now this is one of the tools I use the most in here. But the spear paints in a spear and lets you paint sort of in a three-dimensional pattern on the model itself. The other tool that uh, is really useful is this triangle tool. Now what's really cool about the triangle tool is it lets you highlight one triangle. As you know, 3D models are made up of all triangles. This lets you paint one triangle at a time. So you could go in, and this is really good if you missed a spot, right? You could find all the little triangles you missed if you can't grab them or select them and just paint them one by one. Now the next tool, and this is a tool you'll probably commonly be using, is this bucket tool. Now what's really cool about this bucket tool is the Smart Fill Edge tool. As you can see here, it's highlighting this. So whatever is highlighted, it's highlighting this wing. So whatever's highlighted, it will fill with a bucket. So for instance, if we want to grab its eye, right now this is highlighted. If we turn this up a little bit, you would see it would highlight more than the eye. Let's just get it a little. So it will highlight different areas. Um, so you could refine how much you're highlighting. So if we brought it down too little, you'll see it would just highlight a certain spot on the eye. So usually a nice point to grab things like something the size of that eye is around 10. So if I go there and I can just grab that eye, let's fill it with white, right? And same thing, we're going to go to the other one. We're going to grab this eye and we're going to fill it with white. Now say, for instance, I wanted to paint on eyeballs and I was going to use this black color. What I would do is I would come back in here and obviously reduce my spear size by quite a bit. And you could just, let's look at the front so we don't have a cross-eyed dragon or anything like that. So we make sure the eyes are maybe a little too big still. So let's just go to the front and we can put our eyes. Don't want it to look like a googly-eyed dragon. 
So we can just here use the spear and we can put our eyes in and now we have eyes on our dragon. Now, if we wanted to paint some of these vertices, say for instance, uh, the hair purple, we'd go back to our paint tool and select our purple and we see how much in that area we could grab in terms of the hair. So we could just keep grabbing each chunk of the hair and using the bucket fill in order to get as much as we want filled in here. Now here we have our model and we're ready to slice the plate and print her up. Once you're satisfied with your overall painting, it's time to slice your model. Bamboo Lab Studio ensures that the color data is translated accurately to the printer. Make sure to review your model to make sure the color areas are assigned correctly. The Bamboo Labs paint feature adds a whole new level of multicolor 3D printing to your printing experience. It allows for customization and artistic flair to any of your 3D prints without having to paint them. And with the Bamboo Labs AMS system, you could print with up to 16 colors. For more on 3D printing, DIY, or maker projects, make sure you like and follow Maker Build It. And remember, keep on making. Thank <laughs> you.